Well, here we are again. Well, first off, a little something different today. Uh, I get this phone call from my brother. He's out with my granddaughter, and they're wandering around the neighborhood. They find a garage sale. Okay, so he called me up from his garage sale, and he says, Hey, I found this radio over here. The guy doesn't want all that much for it. And he said, It's really neat looking. He said, It's all tubes. And uh, I said, Well, okay. Uh... Let's bring it over. He says, we can't, we're walking. I said, oh, okay. So I had to drive over there. And so I go over there and sure enough, there's this radio over there. And then, uh, then on top of that, he's got, uh, I look on his driveway and there's something else on there. So I'll show you some of the stuff I got over there today. So here's a radio. As near as we can tell, it's uh, made in Germany, and if you look, I'll, I'll, you can't really see them that well because they're dark, but they're all German stations, like in Luxembourg and all over, all over the place. And uh, so it's a nice wood cabinet. It's pretty decent shape. Turned out it was the guy's uh, mother's. Uh, he was, shoot, he was older than me, so she must have been in her 90s or something. And... Uh, but if you look at the back, it's a Concerto Wechselstrom. So, I believe it is a German radio. Um, and it also has, uh, looks like shortwave also on it. Uh, all push buttons, everything else. So, I'll have to give that a try. And then, uh, he had this. This uh, magnifier with the extension. And it's... Uh, I've already tested it out. Yeah, even the fluorescent lights work. So that'll go on my uh, my workbench uh, back in my bedroom, my electronic stuff, so I can so I won't be so blind working with radios and stuff. But uh, it's in you know it's in pretty decent shape. I don't know how old it is, but it still works fine. Uh, now I'll get back to showing you about the the uh, Explorer out in the garage and uh, show you what I did out there. And Chubby comes running along after me. Pulled the filter and all that out yesterday. So I will show you what this filter looks like. The top of this thing it goes inside the transmission is supposed to be silver well guess what it's not it's discolored and it's black so and you look inside I mean it is blacker than black inside the uh, in that little hole there in the filter itself so yeah I believe this thing was pretty well crudded up Inside. I do not think it's been changed who knows in how long. I know it hasn't been changed in the years like at least three three years anyway. My daughter's put like oh shoot, she must have put uh oh I don't know, probably seventy thousand miles on it since we bought it. And uh so today is I actually did go ahead and wait a second, let me turn the light on here too. So you guys can see under the car. I killed myself yesterday putting that pan back in. I had to hold the pan up with one hand and uh, try to bolt it in with the other. And, uh, and I did it. But, and as you can see, as we go underneath, Chubby, stop it. It's all back in. All 16 bolts. And put it back in. That was a bear trying to get in there. And unfortunately, years ago, I had a car accident. I broke my collarbone back in 83. And uh, dislocated one shoulder. And then, back when I was about 26, I was skiing downhill. And I dislocated the other shoulder by hitting a submerged tree stump. So needless to say, I was pretty much hurting after I crawled out from under the car yesterday. 
But uh, so I'm going to get around to uh, pumping this thing full today, and hopefully we'll do some kind of a driving video or something anyway on it. So anyhow, that's what I got for you for today. As Chubbs is going ahead and trying to chew my ear off as I'm under here. Chubby, what do you think you're doing? Huh? Huh? Say hi. Oh. No, 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 no. No, no, You're too close. Oop. Too close. Quick. Get back. Attack dog. Ah, he's frothing at the mouth. All right. Bye for now. Oh.